Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshing of Mad River Outfitters, the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and Mad River Travel. You know, one of the cool parts of getting to do the travel and the destination stuff that we do here at Mad River Outfitters is I get to spend time and really become close friends with a lot of our great customers. Take Dave Trigo, for example. Dave has been all over the world with Mad River Outfitters, but I really think that this trip to Labrador that we did in the summer of 2018 was really extra special for the both of us. Hey Dave, your Uber's here. <laughs> My little Uber. My little Uber was late. Started fishing about uh, six minutes ago, and he's into his second fish. This is like the third cast, second fish. This is a little nicer fish too. Isn't it? No, uh, don't we don't say the name. Oh, we don't say the name. Oh. Every everybody and their brother will be here. Mad River. <laughs> yeah, this is the Mad. It's a brook trout in the Mad River. Oh my! Well, howdy, friends. It's uh actually day one, uh, but kind of day two since we got. To half day of bonus fishing yesterday and uh, we flew in this morning to a river called the Axe and it's kind of a small stream here for Labrador but uh, I got to tell you it's uh, truly one of the best mornings of trout fishing I think I've ever had and we're about to go pick, pick some pockets which uh, I was able to get some footage of and there's literally brook trout many of them laying in front of and behind every rock just amazing and they're just gorging themselves on dry fly so Amazing first day. Couldn't get any better. What do you think, Dave? Awesome. Awesome. You know what? I've caught many, many trout, but never a brook trout, ever. Oh, so really? My, yeah. my, first, my first brook trout here was yesterday when the guide said 23, 24 inch beautiful fish. Yeah. And then here today, a little smaller so far, but just tons of them everywhere. Everywhere. It's a blast. It's fun up here. Absolutely one of the finest mornings of trout fishing I've ever had. Beast. Got him, buddy. <laughs> that is a beast. <laughs> Thanks, man. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm always asking the guides <clears throat> if they see any bear around in these different streams we go to. Right there answers the question. Two grown men should not be allowed to catch that many trout. Wow, it should be illegal. It's amazing. It's, what's yeah. amazing is that many brook trout in this little river. Every place. I don't know. The whole, the whole, the whole river is what? 300, 400 yards, maybe. Maybe. Maybe about that. But but it's not easy wading. It's, it's not, not easy, easy wading. We went up but. to the top. We came back. We fished our way back down. Now we're getting ready to get picked up. Jill, our float plane pilot, is on his way to get us, but. That was silly. I had to stop fishing. <laughs> yeah. Brian stopped an hour ago. He'd already caught, I, caught more fish. I caught too many fish. Yes, yeah. That's that's just not right. I didn't want to feel. Uh, and uh, good guy. T-Bone, the guy holding the camera. Yep. Great guy. 
Excellent guy. If it wasn't for Tebow, I'd have been in the water at least a dozen times. Bailed an old man out, so thank you, Tebow. Needless to say, Dave had a great week of fishing, and as we said there, we probably had more fun than two grown men should be allowed to have. Check it out at madriveroutfitters.com. Thanks for watching as always, we appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe, we've got a lot more coming at you. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos, we think you might like them too.